What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're going to go through how Playboy Cardi's Magnolia was made on FL Studio. Um, stop licking the microphone. First off, thanks to everyone who subscribed lately. We are almost at 100k subscribers. That is insane. And the moment we get there, I'll be posting the Post Malone Congratulations remake. Make sure you're subscribing down below and look forward to that video. This beat was produced by Pierre Bourne. And because this is a sponsored video, the FLP will be available for everyone in the description below, as well as Sam Addicts' new Destiny beta sample pack. You'll be getting access to some crazy new samples like this new Miss the Rage type sample. So that's sick. Go check it out in the description below. It's free as well as the FLP, so definitely go do that. Anyway, onto the video. First off, we have these chords. Wow. You can find this preset in FM8 in the Transient Attacks library. It's the Adam the Psycho preset. Then go to your Easy slash Morph, and I brought up the harmonic to two, and I took up the stereo width to five, which made it sound a little bit more accurate to the original song. This is what it sounds like without any external effects. It sounds a little bit too synthy and robotic. So we're gonna go into the effects, add some RC20 retro color, taking up the distortion and adding a bit of wobble. Then we are adding some Valhalla Room, which is a reverb plugin. The reverb isn't too heavy. We have the mix set to 9.7% then some Fruity Chorus to make the sound a bit more spacey. And we've left the mix at 60%. And finally, Fruity Parametric EQ2 to add this EQ. This EQ makes a surprisingly big impact on the sound. Wow. That's the first preset, which if you couldn't tell, it's identical. Next up, we have the identical flute preset, which sounds like this. The preset we're using can also be found in FM8, in the FM7 Legacy. It is the classic flute preset, and we're doing nothing to this preset. We're gonna leave it on empty on the mixer, so it's gonna sound like this. second pattern for the flute, which sounds like this. Same preset, same, no effects. Then we're going to render and replace it. Then double click on the audio and go reverse. So it's gonna sound like this now. You probably won't even hear that pattern unless you're like remaking the song and you're listening for every exact sound that's going on. But if we take up the volume, it's gonna sound like this. So with the volume just being normal. Next up, we have some identical samples. We have the identical hat, and I can prove to you that it's identical. This is the EQ of the hi-hat. Then this is the original song. So hat, original song, hat, original song. You can clearly see the hat in the original song. So the hi-hat we're using is the Break the Bank hi-hat, and that plays this basic two-step pattern. Ready for this transition. <laughs> Next up, we have the identical clap sample, which is this Luga slap clap. And that plays on the three and seven. Transition. And once again, let's compare the EQ. So this is the clap. This is the original song. A bit harder to tell, but I am very confident that that is the identical sample. Also, it sounds the same, so who really cares? Next up, we have the 808. Make sure cut itself is turned on, that way when one note finishes playing and the second one comes in, there's no clashing with this one continuing to play. I'll show you what happens when you turn off cut itself. You don't want that. Nope. So if you're wondering why your 808s sound like absolute just wild, just turn on cut itself and it sounds clean as hell. So beautiful. Step number two is go to the audio clip, go to your envelope slash instrument settings and turn on this envelope with the sustain or the hold taken up 100%. Either one works, then take up the release to 15%. That's going to add a tiny little fade on the 808. And that can be done by adding the release. So without the release, it will sound like this. Very sharp and once again, pretty robotic. So once you turn on the release, it's gonna sound like this.
Then for effects, all we're adding is this pretty funky looking EQ because the 808 was just a little bit too saturated beforehand. Look at that perfectly. Next up, we have the kick, which is the pay me kick, which is what Cymatix is gonna do because they're sponsoring this video. Go download the Destiny beta sample pack in the description below. <laughs> that was so stupid. If we compare the waveforms to the original song, check it out, ready, watch this, check it out, boom, matches pretty perfect. I'm not 100% certain it's the identical kick, but it sounds really close to the original song and it looks really similar as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it the identical kick. Go ahead and sue me. So that's the kick. And it slaps particularly hard because we've added Fruity Soft Clipper to the master, which means that when it plays with the 808, it goes crazy. And for all of you that want to make your kick sound even crazier, just turn up the volume on the volume multiplier. It'll sound like this. Then we have the Pierre Bourne tag, which sounds like this. Yo, Pierre! We have that little second part of the sample playing throughout the song, so you'll hear this at different points. And we've also added gross beat to the master, and if we go into it, you can see it's a modified version of the vinyl off. So that's gonna sound like this in the song. Yo, Pierre, you wanna come out here? Then finally, we have two more sounds. The first one is this bomb sound called Da Bomb, as well as this uh vox. Uh. And that plays this little loop. Uh. That's everything for the song. Really pretty simple. Make sure to check out Cymatix's Destiny Beta sample pack in the description below for free. Huge thanks to them. And I really like working with them because they don't tell me to say anything. Like they don't make me script any of the stuff that I say, which is so important to me. I love being authentic with you guys. So if you like seeing two videos a week, make sure to support the channel by downloading the Destiny Beta sample pack in the description below. That way I can work with Cymatix more and get you guys more good content. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one.